This is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, and this is their automatic material system. In this video, we're going to put this to the test. This is something kind of cool. I thought I'd show the process of what happens when the filament runs out and it switches over to the next roll. Now, these are two different colors, but in this case, for these parts, it didn't really matter. I'll turn the lights on in here. So I've got some gray parts, and they're going to be fairly well hidden behind something. These are pretty structural. See, it's doing a good job with these parts. These are made from ASA. So what I've done is set this spool up so that it thinks it is gray. It'll automatically know to switch to this one. So I believe no matter where you would have a, a spool of a color that it knows is the same and a material that knows is the same, it will automatically switch to that one. So let's see uh, what exactly happens when it tries to do that. All right, that's actually a risky business. The way that this spool was coiled, I don't think it would have come out. I've actually never seen a spool that I've purchased wrapped like that. So right here is the end of the gray filament. What I think should happen is that this should be pulled all the way through into the head and there's another sensor inside the head that should then identify that that filament has completely run out. It should go over to the park, at least I think that's what's going to happen, go over park, load the new filament in, in this case it's going to be black so we'll be able to tell how well this works, and then purge completely until all the gray is out and the black is prepped and then go over and start again. So we'll see if that actually happens. Print's all finished. Let's have a look and see how it turned out. So this was the part that it transitioned on. Let's see if we can actually find any sort of blemish. It looks as though this little tiny bit of stringing, the gray is where it transitioned, it went over to park and then changed over to the black filament. Other than that, the parts look really good. Let's run one more quick test. The test is gonna be more extreme though. I'm gonna load in nearly empty filament spools and see what happens when it changes multiple times. Okay, so I have three spools in the printer, which are nearly empty, and then I have the black one here, which is a little bit more full so that the print actually does not fail in the end. So what I need to do is get these assigned in the printer as all of the same color, and that should activate the automatic uh, filament switch, I hope.
All right, so now in Bamboo Studio, I need to sync with the printer to make sure that all the colors are aligned properly with what I just set up. Should be really close to the point where it's going to switch to the red filament. Let's have a look at the completed parts. It's that indicative shine of PETG. I'm not really a big fan of that. I'm more of a, a matte finish kind of guy, but to each their own. So they look pretty good. A little bit of stringing here and there. I didn't go wild drawing this filament. This has actually been sitting around for quite a while. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the results. These are actually a part that I needed, so I'll try that out in a minute. So the process of the filament swap isn't quite like I thought. And I think I was getting confused because of a color change. If you have an intentional color change, it needs to purge the filament completely. In this case, it doesn't need to do that. It just needs to make sure that the nozzle is completely loaded with the new filament and that it can be pressurized properly. I don't see any defects at the transition point. So it's possible that obviously the process worked well, but maybe the transition happened on the infill or on the inner walls. So how well has the automatic material system worked for using up partial spools like this one? Well, for me and my testing, it's actually worked really well. And I haven't had any issues so far, even when the filament changed around the perimeter, around the wall line that's most visible, it seemed to do a good job. And this is some pretty low quality PETG and it's very stringy as well. So it seemed to complete those parts with no problems. If you guys have had any issues with it or if you've had good success, make sure you write them down in the comments to help everybody else out as well. So the automatic material system is not just for color changing. It can be used to use up partial filament spools. Even if they're different colors, if you're doing prototyping or if you just don't care whether there's a color swap partway through, you can end up cleaning up your shop and getting rid of some of this stuff and not having it lingering for a long time. So there's a lot of value in this, not just for the color change, but for using up partial spools as well. So guys, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. It will really help out the channel and help us grow. I'm trying to release between one and two videos each week now. 
So hopefully uh, if you get the notifications on that, that will be great as well. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.